Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And one of the questions that really comes up a lot, especially as we're getting into, you know, like serious go time here. I mean, it's middle of September. I'm recording this about a week and a half ahead of time. And, you know, people are thinking about controllers at this point in the game a lot. A lot of times you've already bought, you know, your props, you've got your pixels, maybe you've punched them in, maybe you're still, you know, waiting for... Uh, yourself to do that or your kids or whoever you've commissioned um, but controllers are one of those things that a lot of times people don't think about till later in the season or maybe just don't get ahead on you know going and acquiring right and so in this video what I want to talk about is in this time and in this space because controllers in the Christmas light market as crazy as it sounds they actually change a lot um, and uh, you know, what controllers are kind of have what features, what are the best, like, honestly, you know, my opinion on that changes on at least a yearly basis, if not more. And it's not that I'm waffling around. It's just simply that, um, we see a lot of innovation in the controller space every year. We see so much in this hobby, so much change and in innovation over the past few years, um, that, it's worth looking at multiple times a year, and, and we've got our pulse here at Learn Christmas Lighting on it constantly to go, okay, what are the best controllers to recommend to people? Okay, so let's start off there. My first things that I look for when I'm looking for a controller to recommend to folks here on Learn Christmas Lighting is there, there's a couple things that are really, really important to us, okay, and to me. Um, the first is it has to have a show player built in. To me, at this point in the game, that is a non-negotiable, okay? I don't want to have to use an external device to play my show. Or at least, I don't have want to have to have a hardline network cable to each controller. I want to be able to do it wirelessly. Sure, does it sync quite as perfectly as if I ran an Ethernet cable to each controller? No, but it's easy, and, and I know that's what a lot of people want. Okay, so that's that's key number one. Um, number two is, you know, I would like to be able to buy it ready to run, have it totally pre-assembled, but I get that we're still not there as a hobby yet totally. Um, there are options, but it's, it's not the norm yet. Um, and so let's take a look at it. Um, so first here, I am at Culp. So Falcon and Culp are kind of the, the two, like, biggest, oldest brands, per se, in terms of longevity and dedication to this industry. Um, I think I give Culp a slight edge at this point in the game, and here's why I like Culp's so much. Number one is they run FPP natively. Um, the Falcon controllers, the V4s, um, so like the F48 or the F16 V4s, they have a show player built in, and I'll talk through it here, that can sync with FPP, but if you're using it as your main controller, the interface is just not quite as nice as FPP. So that's one reason why I push Culp, and I, I really like the Culp controllers. Um, it looks like they're in stock too, um, which is great. Um, number two reason why I like the Culp controllers is that... Um, they have uh, proven themselves to be as reliable as the Falcon controllers. Um, if you'd asked me, you know, a few years ago, I think Culp's came out. I forget exactly what year they came out. They came out three, four years ago. The first couple of years, there were occasional quality issues that we saw. But in the past year or so, I really haven't seen that happen. Um, they've been bulletproof. They've seemed to, to work through any issues that they had um, with, you know, stuff breaking off the boards or, or solder being bad or whatever um, again it's all growing pains it's, it's stuff that these manufacturers learn as they grow and it seems that culp is is past that so we really like those um, actually i should bring up the uh, kurt controllers as well they had me review their controller a couple years ago and they're also an fpp based controller um, that you can get and uh, they are awesome as well. Um, another FPP-based controller, too, is um, actually Wally's Lights. Yeah, I should have had these up. Has their WB16, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm terrible at this. Um, where is it? Gosh darn it. Um, controllers and boards. They have their WB1616. They even sell them ready to run. Um, and it's also an FPP-based controller. So... We like those. Um, oh, they have a 48 as well. So um, really any of these FPP-based ones, um, sorry, 
Kurt Culp, um, the Wally's Lights uh, one that they did with Scott Hansen. All of these are kind of my my number one best fits, really great options um, because of how well they integrate directly with X lights, uh, etc. What I look for and what I really like out of a main controller specifically is I want to see um, an audio output. I want to see the ability to do Ethernet and wireless without USB adapters. Um, so for that, usually the K16 or K32 are my pick for like a main controller, okay? Um, and for any other ones, I like the BeagleBone instead of the Pocket Beagle based controller a little bit better. Why is that? Okay, so the first part is uh, if you get something like K16 or K32 for Culp, it's got an audio output for your FM transmitter, for your show music, built in automatically. It's already there, okay? Um, and so there's no like, oh, I got to get this USB device and make sure it's the right one and make sure it works and I select it. There's there's none of that business uh, with one of these uh, Culp controllers, okay? Um, they also have, they do have DMX on board for DMX lights via terminal block great um, and uh, they also have some long range ports etc um, and so but also the, the ethernet that's where I was going is I really like to see a built-in ethernet port on board which the beagle bone or the B variants of all the Culp controllers do okay why because in the past few years I've seen more than anything else um, that on fresh installs of FPP sometimes it just doesn't with some versions it doesn't always play nice with uh, the USB network adapters and sometimes it's really hard and painful for people to set up and so I would rather you have something that has a native network port on it then you can do your setup on your network port if you go wireless with the USB adapter that's cool but being able to get into it via a regular network cable um, at first is just so much better yes there's a fly uh, but yes there is the mode where you can connect it via micro USB and use the bridge mode but honestly you know as we teach and work with people and test things ourselves here at Learn Christmas Lighting, we've just found that that's not always reliable. Sometimes it's confusing. We have trouble with it from time to time. We know lots of people do. So I just love having a native network port on the controller. Okay. Um, Falcons are good though. I, I do like Falcons though. Um, I just don't necessarily love it as my main show player because it doesn't run FPP direct, but for secondary controllers, etc., they are awesome um we've got you know I, i've got them in my show other people have them they're they're wonderful okay um next let's go over to the matos dragon the matos dragon is a controller i love yes they are out of stock i think for the season this year um at this point but if you're looking at this in the future thank you for next year it's really the only controller that is truly built you know, as a, you know, finished product and not just something that someone assembled together. It's truly like a really nice finished piece, right? Um, it's small. It has eight ports on it and four long range receiver ports. You get it with the power supplies, um, the waterproof power supplies, and it comes in at a killer cost. The downsides, um, as we'll talk about here with the geniuses as well, um, there still is not a show player built into these controllers. So, you will need to go ahead and run a direct network line from your main show controller to these controllers in order to use them. Um, could you technically run it on Wi-Fi? Maybe, but it's not going to be reliable. It's not going to look good. It's going to get stuttery. Things are going to drop. It's, it's going to be bad, okay? Um, because of that lack of show player... Unfortunately, um, at this point, you know, I don't necessarily recommend the Dragons. Like, I have one. I think it's an awesome concept. I'm just waiting for that software update, which if you go to the, the Genius um, Experience Lights Genius Controller pages, they're still talking about um, that they're available, that they're hoping it's going to be in 2023. But it's September. It's go time at this point. I think if we haven't seen it at this point... I don't know if I'd trust it just because you always want to make sure have a little bit extra time for testing for other users to test it, etc. Maybe it will come out. Um, I haven't asked them personally, but, um, you know, whether it comes out or not this year, it's one of those things I really want to see. Um, and then the Genius controllers will definitely, I think the Genius and Dragons will be my favorite, be my top pick. Because 
outside of the lack of show player, um, they've got everything going for them. These new Genius controllers, having this um, easy clamp on for the power supplies um, with these little brackets, and then it just wa there's wires already. You just connect them up. It's it's so stinking cool. I know I pre-ordered some. I'm waiting for them. I'm excited to check them out. Um, these spring-loaded connectors as well, instead of having to use a screwdriver, um, are just awesome. Um, everything about them is really great, except that they don't have a show player built in. And to me, that's a huge deal breaker because I want to see that built in. I don't want to run Ethernet network cables to all my controllers. I want it to happen wirelessly. Um, or at least if it has to be wired i don't know I, I i just love fpp um and having the ability to interface with it or on its own setup i think would be really awesome so the genius controllers they don't yet quite have my thumbs up um i it's just a software thing i just really want to see it and once that is there i think the dragons and geniuses are going to be some of the best out there um of course there's still um, not going to be audio on board. So for my main controller, I still, man, I go back every time to these Culp, Culp K16ABs or the Culp K32s because they're just such a phenomenal value in the sense that you get everything on board. There's a clock battery to keep the time and you can insert a new one there when it dies. There's DMX, there's audio, there's ethernet directly, there's both local and long range ports. Um, so is this, am I making this conclusion that this is the best one uh, right now? Yeah, it is because for $202 plus shipping, you have, you know, a controller board that can do all the things yes you've got to stick it in the box yes you got to get some power supplies on it but it's a tremendous value in the sense that it's got everything on board we're not having a bunch of usb things ad attached which we find just honestly uh becomes frustrating to set up and can become unreliable when you update software etc no having to worry about that so that's kind of my top pick this year. Um, if you're still looking for a controller at this point in the game, these are still shown in stock. Culp's got other stuff, uh, which is great. Um, if you're looking for next year, stay tuned. We'll continue to talk about this stuff. And as always, we help people individually inside of the Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. If you're new to this this year and you're like, I don't know what to do. I want to make stuff happen. I want to make it work. Then join the Academy. We've got step-by-step -step guides for every piece of your show and we want to show you how to do it and answer your questions personally myself and other experts in our forums if that sounds good to you then head over to our page you can join uh just for a dollar which is awesome uh, at least for now and uh, we would love for you to be able to check it out and then uh, join us for real once your trial ends if that sounds good to you thanks so much if not no worries i've got a free guide for you if you're brand new to this over at learnchristmaslighting.com the four things i really wish i knew before i began with christmas lighting and we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks.